A new event aimed at putting Dartmoor on the world map is being backed by actor Martin Clunes. The Dartmoor Derby is inspired by two things, the world's longest and toughest horse race in Mongolia and chic African riding safaris. It's being planned for September and will last over three days. Here's Andrea Ormsby. Martin Clunes and his Clydesdale, Bruce. Hey, guys. At more than 18 hands and with his stockinged feet, Bruce is turning a few heads on Dartmoor. Well, he's something to look at, isn't he? <laughs> he's brought his family to get a taste of the Dartmoor Derby before him and his wife take up the challenge in September. You know, you're always looking for non-monotonous riding as a rider and the, the chance to come out to, to see all of Dartmoor, which the whole world wants to anyway, but to get this sort of privileged access to it that isn't on the roads and isn't on the main sort of thoroughfares. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. After nearly five hours in the saddle, it's time for lunch. Grass for Bruce and a lovely location and a picnic with the best of local produce for the family. It's the first time I've had creme brulee by a river. <laughs> the Dartmoor Derby tackles 100 kilometres over three days, staying in hotels and luxury purpose-built safari camps overnight. Elaine Pryor came up with the idea. I lived and worked in Africa for a number of years and enjoyed the horseback safaris that you do in Africa. And I've also ridden in some amazing places in other parts of the world. But having been born and bred on Dartmoor, I've always, always thought that Dartmoor is right up there. It's a world-class riding experience, and yet so few people know about it. Lunch done, and Martin is back for more. Do you love me, Bruce? He does love me. You get to ride, you get to see all the countryside, then you have this delicious lunch, then you ride some more, and then, well, either you, or you're kicking out in a luxury yurt or having a bath in an amazing hotel. What well, you know, it's win-win. <laughs> this is a real collaborative event. It's involving local food producers, hoteliers, catering companies, vets, farriers, people that own horses, that can loan their horses to people that are coming to ride the Dartmoor Derby. It's right across the board. Oh, look, we're straight up. Go on. The Dartmoor Derby is the first of its kind in the UK. It's not cheap, but it's hoped it'll bring big business to many on the moor. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, Dartmoor.